hey guys what's going on welcome back to my channel what's going on and so it's a late night video it's like after 11 going to 12 now in the night and this is basically you can see the title what may i come on with but um yes coming up my locks coming up my locks as you can see when i retwist it or anything like that um don't mind a big old bump Putting all right on my face, the whole PCOS thing just have me a breakout like continuously, pretty much all of my life. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna start do today, tonight actually, is to try and comb up my locks. Yes, I'm gonna lose a lot uh, here because of the shedding that you would have normally shed when, when before locks locking your hair. I'm gonna lose some of that so here's the length of my hair and I've been thinking about this for a while guys probably like over two months and it's not like some bored or anything it's just that my hair I've been thinning out really bad I don't know if you can see it right here I did pull out one of them and I had to cut it because I had um, like about two knots in it I'm like, I'm gonna deal with that, so I'll cut it. So I'm definitely going to find a few of them with nuts in it that I probably won't deal with it and just cut it, cut it shorter. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to comb it out and we'll see how it goes. If I retain two inches, three or four inches, I'm, I'm okay with that. Look at this one, look at that. You see, you see all of that come all the way out here that's how thin it is right i may cut this because mega comb out all of this right here like i don't think it even makes sense but we see all that part though. so that is what i've been struggling been over six years of in locks my year i don't know maybe because i haven't been doing treatment or anything special to it that it didn't really grow much but mm, maybe maybe not but yeah, so after six years, make a take off the locks. Make a take them locks. Alright guys, so make a try the video as much as I can and speed it up to show you guys how me go about it. I don't know how long it's gonna take me. Okay guys, so this is day two. Yesterday, I last night actually, last night I did do just one small section of it. Hopefully you can see right here. This is the small section I did. I just did a twist, like a, just a simple twist, two strong twist. And um, I'm gonna get started on the other side. So today's earlier, today's like after, um, after seven last night i started like out way in the night so i'm gonna see if i can get any more done obi's gonna help me with the, the back part of it so i'm just gonna try and get as much as i can at the front okay guys so the things that i'll be using to comb out the locks is conditioner and this is a big bottle i got it for like three dollars from walmart so and it's anti-breakage conditioner it moisturizes and nourishes the air so hopefully kind of make it soft and everything like that easy to comb out and i have water with some of the air conditioner into it as well and a little bit of oil to give that slippery feel to comb it out easier i got big tea comb not as big but big enough and then i have <laughs> A tail comb so this tail comb i bought and i just started using it last night and one two three four of them break four of the, the comb teeth break yeah so i used down here and i find that i was using up top and it was working good as well so you kind of maneuver from using the bottom and then the top this is the actual length of my lock so it's shoulder shoulder length and after combing out this side i think this was about either seven seven locks this twist here is about seven locks and after combing out this one this is the length that i have right here just right like basically right at my neck 
here so the neck for the comb out here locks and then the locks itself come down more so it is a slow process it's not as easy that as you think but it's a good option if you don't want to completely chop it off or cut it off so but it's a long process no lie I mean I know how much of these mega spend I do this for definitely don't know but anyways let me show you guys how I do it Okay guys, um, so it's day three of pulling out my locks, combing out my locks. So basically hubby did start helping me with the back tonight and we did, we did pretty much the back, some of the back and about um, right here. And this is all the back look right now. It's kind of thin but it's because my locks was thinning out as well. Right. Um, also one more thing when I was combing out the locks from all the way down from, from all the way at the end I noticed that the bleach part when I finish the bleach part actually I didn't get so what I did to avoid all of that time combing from all the way down here I will cut it like just above the bleach above the bleach side like just about it just a little bit like once it starts to get darker that's where I normally cut it and if I have any locks that has um, like them interlock together I normally just cut it right at the V section right at the Y or V whichever one you would say also I've been using needle a needle I don't know if you can see that but I've been using a needle and because the needle is so slippery what I did is I put the thread through the needle and just wrap wrap it around like this wrap it around so I have an actual grip on it to pull it out so and this is a big sewing needle I think it's a hair needle this one is and then I use the scissors to cut it as you know a lot of air conditioner I've been using a lot plus the water with the air conditioner so yeah so let's finish the side let's finish the side and call it a day isn't it guys so it is day four or day five i think day four or day five when i'm editing this i'm gonna figure it out but anyways um this is the portion that i have left just this bundle right here and just like one yeah i did the two at the bottom so just this portion is left all right i'm doing this one right here as i said yes yes as i said before i cut them to the the bleached like to the, to the grow, new growth 
part to the bleaching that's where i cut them and then just comb out from there and still retaining length right here as you can see so yeah just we're probably able to finish up all of this tonight hopefully and just call it uh at least four to five days it takes me um obi did help me he's gonna help me again to finish up and that's it right it do take a lot of time and the easiest thing is the needle i use the needle guys put the thread at the end so it's not slippery up top here so it's not slippery and i use the needle it's so much easier and then i go in and use the comb and comb it out i do have a lot of shedding One eternity later. Okay guys, I'm all done. This is about day six or eight, so I did skip a day. And I think I'm at day six or day seven now. B, I'm nervous at the same time. I'm so excited to show you guys the end product of how it actually look with all of my locks taken out. But before I show you guys this surprise, where I did lose a lot of shedding. But keep in mind, see, all of these here is built up in, what, four, about five years now since I have my locks? Yeah, about five years. Yeah, I think from 2016 or 2017, but yeah. A lot of build up and a lot of your shedding, where you would normally comb out on a regular basis. All of that just kind of building, so I did lose a lot of hair. Just imagine if I did retain all of that. I'll be walking around the streets and flashing like that, you see. <laughs> but no, I did not gain a lot. But the amount that I gain, me surprise. Me even surprise myself. I'm like, wow. Me know that it have to trim and everything, and I'm thinking of trimming it and putting it on a, at like one level. But people, me I tell them before me show me here. So let me show you how much shedding how much shedding and how much cutting off i had to do okay. we just cut off the bleach end because men retain no bleach end i think two either two or three at the front we retain like a little bit of the bleach end but the remaining all of the bleach pretty much pretty much all of my bleach end gone so me not complain about that it's okay can i tell you that the color anyways this is all the hair that i lose look at that yep yep that's a lot right so we're losing so much here you must be wondering hmm <laughs> what does she have left on her head if we lose so much here are you ready are you ready for this one <laughs> okay i guess two three oh my god wow well it's lying down now well, anyways this is it guys this is the amount, let me just, this is the amount of hair I have left. Look at that. It's, it's dirty. Don't say anything. It's dirty. I know that it's dirty, but this is the amount of hair. <sighs> this is the amount of hair that I have left. Look at that. Look at that. Some, some parts are longer than some because some have, have to be cut shorter than some. Like the, like this side on the back is a lot shorter compared to this side but yes guys <laughs> so oh my gosh my head feels so light like we can catch it up in a one same way i can do that obviously it's not detangled properly it don't it don't get any wash it has a lot of air conditioner into it and it even feels softer than my locks my locks have been feeling so coarse and this feels so soft my head feels so light what's the next step we need to figure out a routine for my hair we need to figure out i have i do have products that i use from lux time and i'll be using it still now because listen i don't have any money to waste so this and i think it's a good product too as well for natural hair so i have the shea moisture shampoo straightener restore shampoo it has peppermint into it and shea butter 
and this is a leave-in conditioner and I think I do have a deep conditioner as well that goes with this brand so I'll probably just use those until me actually figure out exactly what I'll be using and what I like what type of routine I'm gonna do so I am gonna do a video maybe with my first wash if not I'll do a video with just doing a wash or wash me after the, removing the locks and we see how that goes yes guys but I need to get some moisture into this hair like years it hasn't had like a real deep deep concentrated moisture and oil treatment <laughs> That's it guys, that's it. So me transitioning from locks to natural hair. This is all it looks. This is what I gain from combing out my sh little bit longer. I would say probably about chest, chest top, like right here, your chest length of locks. <laughs> this is me coming from that to natural hair. I don't have all the way but may have a little bit on my chin yeah i'll see you guys in my other videos and hopefully i'll be uploading a few more ear ear natural ear videos soon to show you guys and update you guys how it's going up how it's going on with transition over from locks coming up my locks to natural ear so this is going to be a next new journey for me yes how to treat it how to let it grow of to keep it all to maintain it <sighs> if you have any suggestions please link them down below in the comment box I gladly appreciate it and look into it and if it works for me I'll use it <laughs> alright guys so thank you for watching my video I'll see you in my other video then later